Well, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to me filming this again because I forgot to turn my microphone on the first time. So, yay! Hi, my name is Kimberly. I'm the audiobook reader and welcome to my channel. heard about the booktube spin challenge? Well I have and I want to participate and I love me a good game and I'm excited to do this challenge. I will link all of the information down below um, that Rick has, uh, that he, he did a video on his channel so I will look that link that down below for you. But basically what I'm going to be doing today is I'm picking 20 books, numbering them, and publicly announcing them and then on January 31st Rick will be spinning a wheel and whatever number that lands on that correlates with the number of my book list is what I will need to read within two months. I feel like I can do a book in two months so fingers crossed some of these are longer books some of them are pretty short. Now to give you fair warning I have not looked up any of the narrators of these books as of yet, so I will let you know the narrators when I read it. One of the things that Rick suggested is to breaking up the list of 20 books into books of five that somehow correlate with each other. So my first book, my first five books on my list I'm calling my husband's picks. Now these are all books that my husband have has recommended me to read. They are all books that actually sound interesting to me as well and I would like to read but I know he'll be really happy if the spinner lands on one of the numbers one through five. So without further ado let's get to the list. I have them all written down in my notebook. So book number one the Guns of the South by Harry Turtledove. Book number two, Dragonflight by Anne McCaffrey. Book number three, The Color of Magic by Terry Pratchett. And I think out of these five books, I want it to land on that one the most. This is a book that I actually have read some years ago or that I listened to. I, I listened to it with my husband on a car ride. Um, but I don't remember everything about it, but a goal of mine this year we'll see, I have lots of goals, is I would like to revisit or listen to all of the books in the Discworld series. So that's my personal pick. Number four, The Time Scout by Robert Aspen and Linda Evans. Number five is Cross Time Engineer by Leo Frenowski. So moving on to my next five books, I'm calling this the next in series. So these are all books in series that I have started and I have not read the next book in the series. The first book, so we're going to say this is book number six, is Cursed by Benedict Jacka. And this is the second book in the Alex Vertex, Vertex, I'm not saying that right series. And I, I read the first book, Faded, this month in January and I'm very excited to keep moving on. So, uh, so book number six is Curse. Book number seven is A Killing Frost by Shauna McGuire and this book is, I don't know which number it is, but it's the next book in the October Day series. Now the October Day series, normally when a new book comes out, I like to re-listen to all of the books. I don't know if I'll be able to get to that this time around, but I know the books pretty well. Book eight is The Confessor by Daniel Silva, and this is the third book in the Gabriel Alone series. And I read the first two books last year, and I really like the series. I feel like there's 20 books in this series, so I got some reading to do. Book number nine is Murder of Crows by Anne Bishop. And this book, I read all of the books that had been written at the time, and then when this book came out, I wanted to reread all of the books just so I could remember everything, and I just never got to it. So I would like to read, or to read this book, and I might have to re-listen to, I think there's four books, maybe three, four books beforehand, but again, I got 
two months to do this, so fingers crossed. Book number 10 is Rainbow Six by Tom Clancy, and this is the next book in the Jack Ryan series that I would like to read. I am reading these books in chronological order, not publication order. So I think out of the five on this list, well, I really want to read all of them. Um, I think Rainbow Six is the one I'm most excited about. Uh, just because I guess in my mind I think I'm gonna stop at Rainbow Six because um, then the there's another author that start, starts writing with Tom Clancy and we'll see I don't know I'll keep you posted the next five books in this list I am calling a books that I want to read but I haven't <laughs> which I guess is really this entire list but um, they these didn't have any specific theme to them. Book number 11 is The Dutch House by Anne Pratchett. This I do know is narrated by Tom Hanks, so that's just another great reason that I want to get to this book. Book number 12 is Lord John and the Private Matter by Dian Diana Gabbleton. Now I've listened to all of the books in the Outlander series that um, she has written up to this point, but I haven't listened to any of the, the offset books. Okay, book number 13 is The Innocents, a novel by David Badelci. And book number 14 is Life of Pi by Jan Martel. Uh, Life of Pi, this is a book that I've been wanting to read since it's come out, and I don't know why I just haven't picked it up, <laughs> so we'll see. Book number 15 is The Count. Of Monte Cristo by Alexander Drums and I think I've mentioned in another video that this is a book that I very much want to read. I know the story but I've never read the full book. Um, I think out of the list the one that out of those five books the one I want it to land on most would be The Dutch House. I don't know really all of them for different reasons but um, yeah, I, I would like The Dutch House or The Count of Monte Cristo because I got two months to read it and it's a long book and I would feel good that I have two months to listen to that book. The last set of books I'm calling time travel books. Now some of these I know for sure there's time travel in and others are ones I've been told that there's time travel in, uh, which makes me interested in it. Book number 16 is The Rise and Fall of Dodo by Neil Stevenson, and my friend Ron told me about this book, and I'm super excited to listen to this book. Book number 17 is Dear Luna, the final chapter by Amber Crawley. Book number 18 is Kindred by Octavia Butler. I have heard that this book has time like the time travel is where she slips back into time which I read another book like that this past year maybe the rose garden anyways and I liked I liked how they did that so I'm interested in seeing how this book is done um, it's also historical fiction uh, so I get time travel and historical fiction which to me is always a great uh, great marriage of tropes book number 19 is a book that I haven't heard anything about uh, but I did read that there is some supernatural time travel in it, which makes me very interesting since this is definitely an older book. Um, the, the book is The House on the Strand by Daphne de Maurier. And I read Rebecca for the first time this past year and really enjoyed it and thought she was ahead in her, of her time uh, writing that book. So I would be interested in seeing this book. Last but not least, uh, for book number 20, I feel like I can't have a book of time travel books without mentioning The Time Machine by H.G. Wells. And I read this book when I was really young, but I've been wanting to reread it as an adult. Um, I also remember watching the movie several times with my dad uh, growing up, and I just want to see if what I remember of it is how it how I see it now so that would be book number 20 so that's my list of 20 books and I am super excited to find out on the 31st which book I uh, will be reading for the month of February and March and at this point I feel like I need that like to be continued that Back to the Future had since we were just talking about time travel um, because at this point this video is to be continued to figure out 
which book is going to be picked and if I like it. Make sure you uh, go and watch Rick's video on about the book to spin and see if you want to participate. If you do, I would love to uh, know your list, whether or not you make a video or even if you just want to list all 20 books down below um, uh, so that you're publicly announcing it. Uh, he also suggests that you can publicly announce it on like Instagram or Twitter or things like that. So whatever you want to do. Alrighty, have a great day and I will see you later. Bye! To be continued. Let's hope the video audio works this time. So, um, la la la. La 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 la.